Welcome to the Bambanani series. Every child has a right to quality education and teaching inclusively can contribute to achieving that goal. This series of videos illustrates how teachers are teaching inclusively in South African classrooms. The videos focus on teaching numeracy and literacy in the foundation and intermediate phases. To support participation and learning by all learners, the teachers in the clips differentiate their teaching methodologies, content and assessment strategies, and classroom environment. Let's join hands to teach every child. I am Annelise Clark. I am an occupational therapist and a learning specialist at Bella Vista School. Today we're going to explore some fun techniques to draw learners' attention to the beginning of a day or to the beginning of a lesson. Some of these movements are based on primitive reflexes um, and these are natural reflexes that a baby progresses through his or her first year of life. So it's based on the natural functioning of the neurological system. The movements are a lovely way to facilitate sensory feedback to the body as well as developing body awareness and the position of the body in space. If the brain is not aware of exactly where the body is in space, a child will almost always struggle to relate other objects to one another. This can relate to anything from placing letters accurately between two lines or starting next to the margin when writing. In this lesson, the first thing that we see is crossing the midline while counting. This creates subconscious awareness of the left and right side of the body and helps to integrate the left and right side of the brain. In maths, this is important because the discourse of maths needs to be integrated with the numerical understanding. These two competencies are found in the right and the left brain respectively, and movements incorporating both sides of the body have been found to help integrate the two sides of the brain. Cousin, you're going to help us count in twos from two to one hundred. All right, ready? One, two, three. Crossing the midline physically helps to integrate the left and the right brain. We can do this through hugging and breathing. Children open their arms wide while breathing in slowly and deeply. Then closes their arms around them and hug while breathing out slowly. This move promotes relaxation and a sense of well-being through deep pressure. Deep pressure is known to have a calming effect on the sensory system and this move may be beneficial for the very active or the anxious child. And we're going to start with a nice big deep breath in. And then we're going to hold it and out. And another one. And out. All right. The vagus nerve supplies all the vital organs in your body and it connects these organs to the brain. By massaging the vagus nerve, it promotes overall calm state of mind and it is responsible for the mind-body connection. It helps mood and controls anxiety. This is a great activity to practice before doing a speech as it relaxes the nerves and switches the brain on. It also helps the learner to talk with more ease. So you've got two nerves here called the vagus nerves. All right, just below your collarbone. You everyone feel your collarbone? Then just below this, it feels like almost like a little hollowing. Look where I'm pushing, like over here and over here. Now that nerve connects our heart to our brain. So it gets us, and once we're feeling good, then it gets our brain feeling good. So I want you to just try to find that little gap and then massage it on both sides for a count of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Don't break your collarbone, Alex. From following simple but quick physical instructions, the brain is activated and alert. The movements involve identifying the left and the right side of the body and integrating it to an instruction. The brain has to function on multiple levels while integrating various parts. This activation of the brain can create a calm alert state 
which is necessary for optimal learning to take place. You gotta copy me, hands wide, hands down, hands forward, hands down, lift one leg up, okay, lift both arms up, now lift one arm down, <laughs> alright, now look forward, here, touch your nose, right, touch your head, touch your kneecap with your right hand, the up kneecap, alright, now touch your back with your left hand, alright, now look at the ceiling, now look to the left, now look to the right, switch legs, okay, now try balance, now do like a bend your knee that's on the ground so you go lower, 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 now try stay and kiss stand up, oh, are you cheating Alex? <laughs> and down again, and spin around, and sit down. This move stimulates easy transition between visual, auditory and kinesthetic learning. It promotes eye-hand coordination, crossing the midline and visual integration. You're going to move your hand side to side, but you're going to focus on that thumb. So first we're going to go to our left and then we're going to go to our right. So again, have it right in front of you, eyes moving with you as you move across to the left, bring it back to the middle and eyes move across to the right and back to the middle and we're going to do it one more time to our left, just your eyes moving and back to the middle and to the right and bring it back to the middle. Alright, so now we've crossed our midline, now our minds are ready to work.